Hooray! Training camp has just started in quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo is a full participant in it. If the Las Vegas Raiders are going to do anything this year, they need him to stay healthy. I expect the defense to be better, but if the Raiders are going to finish over 500, they're going to have to win with their offense. And they can do that with Garoppolo as their field general. Garoppolo fits the Las Vegas Raiders in every way. He knows McDaniel's complex offense and he's a fit for it, which is why he was drafted by the New England Patriots when head coach Josh McDaniels was there. He fits the city as the eligible bachelor dating porn stars and all that, and you'll see later in the video that he's already fitting in well with his teammates. The things he does well are what the Raiders need a quarterback to do well too. The first thing is his accuracy. He has a 67.6 career completion percentage to 64.6% for former Raider quarterback Derek Carr. But it's not just about his completion percentage, it's about ball placement too. Garoppolo can fit the ball into tight windows. He makes throws a lot of quarterbacks wouldn't try to make. He's always among the league leaders in yards after the catch too. That's because he throws his receiver something they can catch in stride and turn right up the field. Did he have playmakers with the 49ers? Yes, but you can slow a guy down making him adjust to your throws. Garoppolo doesn't do that. When you hit a receiver right where you're supposed to hit a receiver, they make big plays for you. Then they're throwing the ball under pressure. Neither one of these guys are Josh Allen, but Garoppolo completed 57.1% of his passes and had a passer rating of 77.5 under pressure. Carr completed 50.9% of his passes for a passer rating of 73.7 .7 under pressure. You can see the difference too. Garoppolo stays calm, cool, collected, and delivers. Sometimes he waits to the last instant to throw the ball, knowing he's going to get hit. And when he has to, he'll leave the pocket and make a throw. I still love Carr, but he's not known for his work under pressure from the defensive front. Garoppolo isn't exactly the rambling, scrambling quarterback from Grambling. But when he has to, he'll make a play out of the pocket going to his right and to his left. That accuracy and ability to throw under pressure makes him good in the red zone, where opposing defenses use their best pressure packages on you. Alright, I got some crazy red zone stats from last year. From the 20 and in, Garoppolo's completion percentage is 60.47. From the 10 and in, 60.9. Garth's completion percentage inside the 20 is 42.11 and inside the 10 is 33.33. I already know Carr has struggled over the years in the red zone, but my goodness, that's a big discrepancy. Do you guys realize how important this stat is? The Raiders lost 8 one-score games last year, 5 of them by 3 points or less. That's 5 games where if you replace a field goal with a touchdown, they win the game. The Raiders scored 23.4 points per game and gave up 24.6 points per game in 2022. If the Raiders can get that number up to 26, 27 points per game, they wouldn't even have to improve that defensive number to get into the playoffs, but you definitely want them to. The last area is the deep ball. Many of you think Garoppolo can't throw the deep ball, but that is not the case. In 2019, his last healthy and complete year, Garoppolo completed 57.1% of his deep balls with a 101.8 passer rating. And that's when he had speedster Marquise Goodwin to throw the deep ball to. Those deep ball stats have as much to do with the receivers as anything. As great as Patrick Mahomes is, his deep ball numbers aren't as good without Tyreek Hill. But either way, Garoppolo has a much bigger arm than many think, and he's a better deep ball passer than many think. So he'll be able to hit Adams deep just like Carr did last year. Oh, and I can't forget 4-2 speedsters, Trey Tucker and Philip Dorsett will be in the mix too. I loved Carr just as much as many of you did if not more when he was here. But Garoppolo is a better fit for McDaniels and the Raiders in more ways than a few. So how's Garoppolo fitting in with Adams? It sounds to me like he made a good first impression on him today. For sure. I mean, he's a, he's a great guy, easy to talk to, super coachable, you know, from the, the coaches to him and, and you know, listening to my feedback and the, the way that I view the game too. So 
today was very productive, a lot of conversation out there, and, uh, you know, we just got to stay on that, continue with it to, to get to where we want to be, um, obviously, come week one. Now, that's important because Adam said he wanted input with the next Raider quarterback. All defensive leader Max Crosby wants to see in Garoppolo is that dog in him, and he does see that dog in him. Uh, you know, it's a little different, you know. <laughs> uh, Jimmy's cool as hell. You know, I've been, seeing, I've been here all offseason with him. Uh, he's been training, working his ass off to get back. Um, so I'm fired up that he's out there with us. Literally before practice started, he's already talking. So uh, I love it. So <laughs> that's the kind of guy I want to compete against, you know. What's so I'm, uh, that's, that's between us. But <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a competitive dude. I love him. You know, he's, he's a dog. Um, and I'm not just saying that because my quarterback, you know, I, there's certain guys that are dogs, and uh, he's definitely one of them. So uh, I love it. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to competing and getting after his ass. <laughs> Now for Garoppolo. He sounds like he's already back on the same page with McDaniels again. Uh, it, was, it was awesome, man. Uh, so I always saw Josh and Tom do that back in New England. <clears throat> thought it was really cool. Thought it was just that's just smart football when the play caller and the quarterback are working together like that. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool experience. Uh, I felt good to get back into that. Just uh, putting your two senses in, uh, two cents in as a quarterback, uh, and certain plays that you liked in a certain offense and. It's new to Josh, new to me, and we're just trying to make it all work. But, yeah, it's, it's been really cool. Uh, I enjoyed the process with him. Now, this is interesting because I didn't know Garoppolo had a chance to work with Adams this summer with his foot injury and all. Uh, it's coming. I mean, it's definitely coming. We've gotten some good reps over the summer. Uh, training camp, I think, will only get better and better as we go. But, um, it's, I mean, it's, running routes on air is one thing, but once you get out there with the defense against you and – you really could see what guys can do and can't do, uh, and they could see the same with me. I think that's when you really start to build your chemistry. Uh, that's what we're trying to do, man. We, I thought we had a pretty good day today. Some couple here and there that we could have hit a little better, but uh, overall, I thought it was pretty good. So Garoppolo and Adams are a little further ahead than we thought. Now for the main reason why Garoppolo fits in with McDaniel so well. He programmed him when he first came up. Uh, well, jo Josh taught me. He taught me the pro pro game pretty much when I was a rookie and just first couple of years in the league. Uh, so he really acclimated me to this league. And uh, yeah, everything I kind of knew came from Josh and uh, the Patriot days. And we're kind of just trying to get back to that, man, we're trying to build that chemistry. Uh, he's, you know, calling plays out there for me, trying to get in my, my ear uh, so that we could see the same picture and things like that. And it's, I thought we had a good first day, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going in the right direction. So no button heads with McDaniels like Carl was. He's seeing eye to eye with Adams too. Yeah, uh, it, it was cool, man. Came out in the same draft class. I always watched Devontae. I always, you know, thought he was one of the best in the league, if not the best. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's as a quarterback, it gives you a sense of relief almost to have a guy like that. We were throwing some uh, routes on air today, and we were just talking and just hearing him talk and how he sees the picture and how I see it. It's pretty cool. I mean, he sees it very similar to a quarterback, which as a quarterback makes you feel great, man. So it's it's nice. Okay, so then what is it that made you see that Adam sees the game just like a quarterback does? Uh, well, we were just doing some routes on air over on the side field, and he, uh, I mean, he just started talking like most receivers just tell you the route they want and they run the route. He was kind of talking, talking the talk, and I was like, okay, like this guy's seeing what I'm seeing. He, you know, throw it early rather than later, just little things like that, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. So we we got a long way to go, me and him, but we're off to a good start. Was it me Dan's plan for Garoppolo to join him here in Vegas this year all along? The San Francisco 49ers took Trey Lance at number three overall, and he knew Garoppolo's contract was up this offseason. Carr's big contract with an out in it after one year now looks like a highly paid one year tryout. McDaniels has his guy now, so he's ready to open that playbook all the way up. Did you know he and New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick agreed to replace Tom Brady with him a few years ago, but owner Robert Kraft stepped in? Now they're in Vegas with unfinished business. Garoppolo fits McDaniels, his system, and at the beginning of training camp, it looks like he fits his teammates. He just fits. Thank you for watching. See you next time.